Okay, so Tim with his um, elevator trim cable, which is stiffened up, we're going to use this to inject some, inject some oil into the, into the cable. So we're going to take it off at the back end. Cable goes in here, gets clamped up this end. We fill it with oil and then this forces oil through the cable, which will hopefully resolve his problem. And I got to sit in the front end with a whole lot of towels and, to and catch all of the oil. <laughs> catch the bits and pieces. Yeah. My name is Tim Palmer, I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. Using the correct tools to remove this. Uh, whip that out. Is there any washer or anything on there? I'm going to bolt in a little tray. Just about got enough. Right. Possibly. So do you tend to use this tool very much or not really? I haven't got, I can't remember what I lost it. I used it on a throttle cable, which is what I bought it for, but I can't remember what it was on. Yeah. It was quite effective, but very, very messy. Right. Let me do that up. So that's all now secure. Uh, well, yep. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. And hopefully it goes in far enough. What I was actually going to do is see how much we've got. And then you use the plunger here to wind in. Yeah. And force oil up the cable. I yeah. think we've got enough. It's not going to go the full stroke. tight restricted space yeah so that's just going to release the pressure onto the back all, of that all bit. this does is this clamps the cable to the control yeah and this is where the oil will spill out okay we can actually push in through but i've uh, i've got the towels and bits and pieces ready right pull this up yeah. rob come and make yourself useful hold on to that for us will you? Go in the front. This is going to go everywhere. It's going to go all over the floor. So that's filled up that chamber and you're now going to screw the thready bit in and I'm going to go to the cockpit, yeah? And then we're all going to watch oil pour all over the floor and everything else. Right, off you go then. Okay. So you say that's one chamber done? That's, well, yeah, that's one. You might have to do it several times. Well, a lot of it's just coming out over here at the end through the crack in the cable. Right. Another one. It looks like it's been... So it now appears to be moving much freer. Okay, so although we haven't got oil through, it's doing the job and we'll just keep sticking at it. But it is much better. So we'll give it another couple of goes and see if we can actually get some oil all the way through it. Brill. Okay, thank you. And we're working on the fact that the trimmer now position neutral is actually pointing at the sound recorder or the bottom of the panel. Yeah. See this section here, Lalo, it's difficult getting that down because that was quite clumpy grass there. Yeah, yeah. But it looks much better now. And Nayland Traffic Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is rolling Nayland Traffic.
run with it straight, okay? Yeah, okay. Ready when you are. Bit of a wobbly wobbly woo? Yeah. Very sensitive trimmer now. Is it? Yeah. So it's working then. Yeah. Good, good, good. I put the same amount of pressure in just to compensate for the climb. Yeah. I felt the nose go down. All right. Oh, bit of air wanting to go up. Yeah. Oh, it was a little bit like that yesterday afternoon from Earl's Cove, but could I just, just in case, it's in the front of that camera? Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> well, at least I've got clean picking out. Yeah, that's it. That's OK. <laughs> that's good. It uh, wants to fly today, 700 feet. Yeah. OK. Start to level off. Yesterday was dead calm, so it was easier to to work out. But yeah. Right there we are. We're we're trimmed level. It's not where it was for the takeoff. No. But that is is level. But I'm because it tends to slip. I'm used to working it whichever you know wherever it is. Yeah. Okay. So we're going down. And we're coming up. Big difference. Is it? Yeah, working well. Yeah. Because we've had to put it the other way up. Yeah. When you push away, it's climbing. Yeah. And when you pull towards you, it's going down. Now you, yeah. when you were looking, you actually thought that there wasn't a lot of down, didn't you? Yeah. But if you look here... Oh, there's plenty, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, okay. As I say, unfortunately, I'm against the clock. Right, okay. So, I mean, we've proved that it's working brilliantly. Yeah. Did you want to have a little fly? But I think you're probably set up without your feet. No, I can just touch the pedals. Okay. There you go. I've got contact one. Over Stoke Island, turning this way. Can you still see it? Yeah, uh, coming this way. Keeping the in a turn. Yeah. That's an old airfield over there, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's Raiden. Raiden. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, keep it in the turn. Take us back towards Colchester. Okay. As I say, unfortunately, I'm having to work on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to admit, any time in the air is a bonus. Yeah. Can you still see that? I need to come around a bit further for me to actually be aware of where it was. Okay, take us back towards the field. Have you got the field on the wingtip? Your your wingtip. Yep, got it. Yep. A little bit lumpy up here today. It is. Yeah. I mean, when you look at the clouds, it's not too much of a surprise. No. Have you got it in the two o'clock position? No. In a word. Turning towards us a bit. Okay, let it come down a little bit. Come to the left. He's turning there now. Oh, I've got him. Yep. Yeah, he seems to be hanging around over there, isn't he? Yeah. Yep. I wonder if it's the same one that was over here. I wonder if he's a. Uh, because it's a Cessna. Yeah. It may well be doing aerial photography. Yeah. You know, these characters, they used to always come around and knock on your door. Yep. We're making the point what we're doing. 
Okay, bring us round to the left, so we're going to the... The reservoirs. Yeah, towards the reservoirs. 1,500 feet there. Yeah. Mayland traffic over for Yankee Echo Hotel is in the overhead Mayland traffic. Yeah, it looks good down there now, doesn't it? It does. Like 1,200. Looks really good. So you say you checked out on the Robin now? I have, yeah, that's good. Did that yesterday afternoon. Brilliant. Okay, reservoirs to reservoirs. Yeah, don't Get worry about coming side. down. We'll keep at this height now for a yeah. while. Right, where do you turn in? Uh, yeah, just a little bit further. I got the reservoirs coming up. Yeah. Okay. You can make a turn now. And what we're doing nowadays is we're coming inside the houses. There. Yeah. yeah. If you look at the line where the pipe work or something is going in, can you see? Yeah. That's what I've been using as a as a, as okay. a marker. Right. Okay. Okay, you're all right. I have control. You have control. Air brake coming down. Change the trim. Coping with it really well. Forget that circular patch. Yeah, try not to touch the left-hand side of the runway. Yeah. <laughs> So you see about a third and a quarter of the way up that light patch, Yeah, that's where the rough bit is. Right. Windsock looks sort of fairly benign, but it's chucking us around like mad. Yes, than I wished, yeah. but I was aware of the fact, I didn't know whether you felt it, as it dropped, it went left. Yeah. So I felt I needed to keep the power on to yeah. keep it that way, but it just magnified it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that was a nice point anyway. Yeah, well, we got into the air. Oh, that now works. That works brilliantly. So I will probably cut this into my flight yesterday right. to make the two tied together. Yeah, okay. But uh, in doing so, um, if you have watched right the way through to the end, thank you very much. Do appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed, then please do. If you liked it, give it a like, and hopefully there'll be another one for you fairly soon. Thanks a lot.